Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your laptop remotely to your Sun SDR2, whether it be the Pro or whether it be the uh, 2DX. Stay tuned. So I was setting this up and uh, I followed Rick's guidance. His call sign is November 8th. Sierra Delta Romeo N8 SDR and I'm going to post the link above so take a look at that. It's going to show you how to first set up your system at your host laptop or your host computer. So follow his steps first and then in this video I'm going to show you how I set up my laptop to communicate to the Sun SDR2 using the new software called the EESDR version 3. In the next few minutes in the video, I'm going to talk about the Windows Defender firewall so that you can allow to pass programs in and out through the firewall. And also I'm going to talk about that UDP and TCP protocols ports 50051 through ports 50053. I'm going to do both of those procedures on both my host laptop where my Sun SDR2 is connected to and also on my remote laptop. This is my remote laptop. We're going to allow two application pass through the firewall. We need to make sure it's uh, enabled. So we're going to go down to search. We need to look for an app called Allow and App Through Windows Firewall. What we're looking for is two programs, EESDR3. All right, I got two of them here listed. So we need to make sure that both the private and the public are checked. The second application is called SDR application. All right, go down to the bottom. It's right here. SDR application program. You need to verify that both boxes are checked. If they're not checked, to make changes, you click on change settings and then put a check mark in those box and then click OK. Now we're going to allow the UDP and TCP ports to pass through the Windows firewall. How we do that is click on the magnifying glass on the bottom left. You're going to type Windows Defender Firewall with security. Uh, with, actually, with advanced security. So it's already self populated. And we're going to select inbound rules. Let's do the inbound rules and then we'll do the outbound rules. Inbound rules, we're going to select new rule. We're going to select port. We're going to do TCP first. So the specific port we're going to add is 50051-50053. We select next. Allow the connection. Next. Verify the rule applies to the domain, private, and public. They're all checked. Next. Here where it says name, we're going to label that rule. I already labeled mine EESDR3 pass through. So if you want to use the same one, you can. Or select your own name EESDR3 pass through. Click finish. And that's going to save it. Now do the same thing for the UDP inbound rules, new rules, port. Next, 
we want to select UDP and the same port numbers 50051-50053. Click Next. Allow the connection. Next. Verify domain private and public are checked. Next. Then again, label the rule. EESDR3 pass through. Click Finish. Now the inbound rules are done. We're going to do the outbound rules. It's the same process. Click on New Rules. Select Port. Next. Now this is the only thing different. You need to select UDP. Enter your port numbers 50051-50053. Select Next. Allow the connection. Click Next. Verify the rules apply to domain, private, and public. Next. Here again, you label your rule. EESDR3 Pass Through. Click Finish. And do the same thing. Port for the UDP process. Welcome to my host computer again. And I'm going to show you first we need to start the EESDR and also the ERS starter program. ERS stands for Expert Remote System. So here you're looking at my desktop on the upper left corner is the expert SDR. Just double click on that. So the device manager found my radio. And if you haven't updated your firmware, please do that now at the firmware manager and mine is already up to date. So this is the EESDR device manager. This is the next step, very important. You need to start the server, the ERS starter. So double click on that. And then you get a connect successful. This is where you don't, do not click the Xbox or it will not work. This needs to be running and it records the data. Good morning. It's a new day. It's um, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. And um, let me show you that I'm at the hotel room now. Come down here to the bottom right. This is my Wi-Fi connection. I am currently connected to Best Western Dallas Fort Worth Airport West at Euless, Texas. One thing that I found out when I was doing this testing my host computer, when I was uh, updating it remotely and um, or when you have Windows automatically update and reboot your computer, you're not going to have the EESDR application, also the ERS uh, software activated so what i recommend for the uh, mr roman and the dev the dev crew is to uh, perhaps take a look at uh, the software and see if you can make an option to automatically restart the software for example if that happened to me 
and I'm away from my host computer at home, I can use this program called Team Viewer. I'm going to open that software up. I can connect remotely to my computer, the host computer where my Sun SDR2DX is connected to, my home network, and just double click on that and it's going to be connecting so this is my host computer at my qth so i can close out the system or i can reboot it here's the reboot process I'm going to remotely reboot this computer. So what's going to happen is, this is an example. If you're doing a Windows update and it re requires a reboot, I can reboot it, reboot my host computer remotely, right? And also remotely restart the applications EESDR3 and also the ERS starter application to be successfully so while it's rebooting I will get a notification it's gonna pop up I think it pops up up here or down in the bottom right corner it's gonna say that my computer this one right here, the N4 VFR XPS 17 will be back online and I can reconnect. And once I establish connectivity, I could restart those applications. So just give me a second. It's going to take about maybe a few seconds to reboot and then establish connection. So this is a continuous recording no editing you can actually see how long the process takes so then yeah that is my recommendation that to have there it is see your partner is available again do you want to reconnect yes it's going to re-establish communication yeah my recommendation is to establish a uh, way that you can have EESDR restart itself once you're rebooting your computer after a uh, an update on your Windows. So what you're looking at again, this is my host computer. I'm going to start the EESDR. Okay, well, let's start that. The splash screen is looking good. I don't need to start this. If I were to start this, then I'll be operating as if I was at the host computer. I don't want to do that. Just leave that on. on. And this is very important, the ER starter. And this is the window that you do not want to close. You want to minimize this. Okay. And you just saw me, I just restarted my computer. Now let me close this connection to my host computer. And this software is free, by the way. I don't need a team viewer anymore. I'm going to close that out. Now what you're looking at now, this is my Dell Inspiron laptop here in Euless, Texas. Double click your EESDR. We're going to make a connection to my Sun SDR 2DX. There it is. I'm going to click on start. Remember, I'm still operating the Wi Fi here at Best Western Dallas Fort Worth, Texas. All right. Is populating now. OK. 
Okay. Down here on the bottom, I want to enable my sound card. And I was on, I think I was on 40 meters earlier. Well, let's leave it on 20 meters. I'm look, we got mode of operation CW and my uh, sample rate is set to 312 kilohertz. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay. I'm going to open my I'm going to open up my noise gate filter for um, this Rode microphone because I don't have an input from my Dell Inspiron and I'm recording this on my MacBook Pro so I'm going to open up the threshold of my noise gate so you can hear the CW. Over here around this frequency that you see here, that's FT8. So what we're listening to now is a CW on this frequency, 20 meters. You see how slow it's it's um, reacting? It's because I'm using a lot of bandwidth. So right now, see how it stops? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you come to any conclusion, this laptop, the Dell Inspiron, it cannot handle OBS. It's my open broadcast software to record these videos for you guys. It can't handle OBS and EESDR too much because it's it's taking up too much resource of my laptop and it's slowing it down. My laptop's getting super hot. So I'm gonna edit some videos to kind of like make it a little shorter, but at the end, you're going to see me take my other camera and record it, and we're going to have a good QSO. My first QSO on EESDR Remote. Stay tuned. Don't hang up yet. Thanks for watching. It's all going to be dependent on your connectivity at your remote site, the hotel room, coffee shop, and so forth. So it's working. You know why that? It's um, slow at times is because if you take a look, this is a CPU usage here on the bottom right. Let me turn it on. The transceiver. And remember, the this is a CPU usage of this program. It's uh, operating around 37, 36%. Okay. If you look at my OBS, Excuse that. This system is operating at 42%. Okay. So with my OBS running, this is how I'm recording this. And with this application, it's running around 30-ish percent CPU usage. It's blocking down my my reception so let me pause this and i'm going to record it on my camera and you will see what i what i'm talking about so i'm not saying that it's lagging like this if you if i were to record this without using all those obs resources it's very smooth and it really works so stand by give me one second this is my dell Inspiron laptop and right now I'm at 312 kilohertz right there and uh, so I can see the full spectrum well not the full spectrum but we're here in the CW portion I'm going to turn on the speaker and so you can actually hear it turn the microphone around
laptop right here. This is my Dell Inspiron. This is my remote laptop. The one on the right is the laptop is a MacBook Pro. This is what I use to record my YouTube videos on or edit and uh, recording uh, OBS. So here we go. We're looking at my Dell. We're going to start like normal. I'm going to show you that we're at sample rate of 312. Still connected to the hotel Wi-Fi. Turn on the speaker and headphones. We're on 20 meters. So here's sample rate 312. The waterfall is smooth. There's a station right here. My automatic gain control is set to 23 dB. Right there. And you can see the uh, waterfall and the signal is smooth. Okay, well, we got you on the log, my friend. The other station is trying to check in your doublet. Come on in. I'm going to try to check in. Okay, no problem, Larry. By the way, Phil, sorry I didn't get on echo list. I, I slept in a little bit this morning. W7, Tango Lobster Alpha. Check in YL system. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo Remote Control. Okay, Phil, so no problem at all. I'm glad to hear you, buddy. Yeah, good morning, gentlemen. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. I'm operating remote control on the uh, Sun SDR 2DX. How do you copy me? I'm located in Jackson, uh, correction, uh, Dallas, Texas. Over. Oh, uh, you're, you're operating remote from Dallas. You're still in Florida, right? Uh, the QTH is, uh, I got two places where I live. Um, I'm, make, I'm making a video right now. My home QTH uh, on QRZ is in Jacksonville, Florida. And my other station is down in South Texas. I'm an airline pilot and currently located in Dallas, Fort Worth at the hotel room. Over. Oh, okay. Good enough. We got you in Dallas, Fort Worth in the hotel room there. Well, I got a good copy on you. You're five and five. Okay. Oh, very good, my friend. And uh, your signal is 5 and 858. Good signal. How's the audio, though? Can you comment on the audio? I think I'm, uh, uh, I haven't set up the audio, so I'm not sure if it's running flat or too much bass. Go ahead. Oh, it sounds fine. No problem at all, Darren. Sounds just great. Anything else we can do for you? Thank you, gentlemen, for letting me check into your group there. And, um, very good. And can you tell me your call sign again? Uh, w7 Tango question mark. Over. Okay, you broke up real bad that time, Darren. I'm sorry, but you broke up real bad. Did you add something else? Yes, sir. Uh, your call sign. Your call sign. I'll put you in the log. Over. Oh, my call is Whiskey 7 Tango Oscar Alpha W7 TOA. I'm in Arizona. Okay, Darren? Okay, good copy. Uh, Whiskey 7 Tango Oscar Alpha 73s and in your group there. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo Remote Control. Have a great day, guys. Hey, you have a great day, too, and fly carefully, my friend. And let me get this over the back. K95KKV, take it away. Uh, successful contact with uh, a station out in Arizona. So. Very good. It's working as I planned. Thank you very much, Roman and your dev team. And thank you very much to Rick, November 8, SDR. Well, I hope I helped you guys out in setting up your remote laptops. 
so you can communicate to your Sun SDR2 radios. And oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and share with your friends. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Also, please subscribe to Rick. His call sign is November 8, Sierra Delta Romeo, and 8 SDR. He does technical and how-to videos on the Expert Electronics Sun SDR radio lineup. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Until next time, 73s and have a great day.